Hey everyone, it's me Talking Summit 2 here, and for today's video, I want to be coming back to a series that I haven't really done in a while due to things happening in my channel, and plus, I just want to talk about my opinions more when it comes to video games. That's right, if you guys are kind of new to this series, uh, welcome to Attack and Reviews, where I am um, you're just your typical video game like YouTuber where I just talk about and review video games whether I like them or not. It's just a it's just a generic sort of deal. And the reason why it's called Attack and Review is, is because I attack the game with my own opinions, whether I think it's good or bad and all. But anyways for today's review, we're gonna be we're gonna be discussing and reviewing about a game that trended back in twenty twenty and even got in itself a brand new update about a couple weeks ago. And I think you might I think you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Among Us, not just Among Us on the phone or something like that. I'm not just talking about that because I feel like everyone is doing it by now. I'm more talking about the Nintendo Switch version. I've only seen like a few videos reviewing uh, Among Us on the Nintendo Switch one. And I might be one of the few of them who was just, who was just like covering this video. And this game, now I really didn't expect Among Us to come out to the Nintendo Switch. But given the fact that this game was trending back in 2020 despite it not being a 2020 game plus it just got its recent airship map update so there's gonna be a lot to talk about it but we're gonna be talking about that after we talk about when this game first released back in december plus i wanted to make this sort of review about like when the game first came out for the switch like a week after or maybe like in january 2021 but given the fact that how many things has been going on with real life and such i've been distracted i wasn't able to review this but now i am now having the opportunity to to do this and before we get started i'll have to let you know that these are all my opinions so if you do not like what i say then please respect for for what i think about this game and with all that let's just get started with this game with this whole review so back in december of 2020 it was announced back in december 15th on an indie showcase and after that it was released the day uh, after it was like after the presentation was done and let's just talk about the pricing for a bit now unlike the game on your phone where you can just get the game for free this game is actually five dollars which was the same price for the other games like the game version which was steam and honestly, it really isn't a bad thing. Like, $5 for a game isn't really that bad. But if you really prefer to get this game right away, then I suggest just buying the game on your phone. But if you want to see how this game would work on, like, actual, on the actual console, because I think this is the first time Among Us was in an actual console. No, the PC doesn't count if you ever would call a PC some sort of a console. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an expert on, like, consoles, but... Really, Among Us on the Nintendo Switch had some flaws, really. I mean, the gameplay is different, plus we just got the airship map and all. But what are the differences between this one and the free version on your phone? Well, they had some different flaws, like I said. The thing is, the, the gameplay plays the same, where you basically do tasks and try not to get killed by an imposter. The problem is, though, is that whenever you do tasks on the Nintendo Switch... It sometimes can get more difficult when you first play it for the first time, because like I said, this is the first time that Among Us was in like any sort of certain console. And the thing is, if you play this game on TV mode, it's kind of a hard and difficult thing to even like, I guess, muster, because the thing is, if you play this game on handheld, it is sort of like easier, because I mean, you're more used to playing this game on your phone and all, and, all, and it's really cool and all, but the problem was is that... When it comes to typing, if an among if the imposter was able to kill a body and then a body was found, the thing is, it is gonna be very hard for you guys to type because it's usually, because the thing is, the whole keyboard system is kind of pretty slow in this version instead of just this one. But the recent update did just updated the game with a brand new some sort of like an inbox where you can just automatically I like where you can just automatically say what you're gonna say instead of just typing it. But if you have to like at least say something, then uh you really got to find a way to at least type in and probably get used to it. I've kind of gotten used to it for a bit. And also, what about the map itself? Well, before the airship map was even released, there was a glitch where you can actually get to play the map early along with, along with it, like, it's Henry Stigman infiltrating the airship sort of skins and hats. So it's kind of a weird thing. It was discovered about 
like a couple months ago, I like like a few months ago when the game first released for the Nintendo Switch and all. And the gameplay, like if you like, I mean, if you like the game itself, then I guess I suggest playing it on your phone. But if you prefer a console, then you would buy this game instead. The issue is that there were some gameplay plot flaws that just basically can sometimes can get used to. If you're trying to play wires, then the best you can do is by pressing the buttons, like the A button, and then just trying to fix wires, or you can just use the touch screen which is kind of slower but then again it's sort of like like i guess i'm not sure how like i'm not sure which word fits i guess you say like slow pace but then again among us is sort of fast paced and it's basically your typical among us where you just have to join the lobbies and all and two play and like two on each lobby is sort of it's very unassailable because of how very popular the game was back in 2020 Surprised that Among Us was even in the console for the first time, and I really am glad that Nintendo and this franchise is coming to more. I just hope this comes to the Xbox and PlayStation in the future, just like what they did with Five Nights at Freddy's, and I just cannot wait to see what they have in the future. But overall score, is Among Us on the Nintendo Switch really worth your time? If you really are a fan of, like, I guess, like, I guess you say, like, add in your library on your Switch even more, then this game would be something. And plus, if you want to get try the game Among Us itself and see how trending it was, then you can see why exactly. And plus, there was really nothing else we can honestly do back in 2020 when the whole pandemic thing was happening. So I'm just glad Among Us got some very huge popularity. Plus, we did just get the recent um, airship map, which the map is very huge. There's a variety of task you you can do instead of just doing like i don't know instead of just trying to like turn off the oxygen or something like that or doing trash it's basically a brand new experience for among us and i recommend getting this game whether it's on your phone or on a console but with all that out of the way let me know what you guys think in, in the comment section below what did you all think of the nintendo switch version of the of the game among us i really do not know what to say else aside from among us good console i guess i'm not sure but i want to know all your opinions down below and with all that out of the way leave a like comment subscribe hit the notification bell for more videos i'll see you guys next time remember this once legend always legend like a hell cut.